Nidhi. Welcome to 12 Minutes to CLAT. So for everybody, this is uh, Nidhi Agarwal. She got an All India Rank 2 in CLAT 2021. And today, I think a lot of students who are writing CLAT 22 again are under a lot of stress and they're not very sure as to how to prepare for the exam, what to do in the last 10 days. So Nidhi is going to guide all of us because she's been there quite recently. Uh, and she'll discuss all these strategies that can also help you not get too anxious and too stressed about the exam and do your level best. So Nidhi, uh, I open it to you now to tell us a little bit about yourself at the start and please tell us as to how should the students manage their preparation in the last 10 days? Sure. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Nidhi. Uh, I'm from Raudkila, Odisha. I studied in Delhi Public School. Please do not judge me for that. And uh, I prepared for CLAD for like around six months, starting from January. Um, and yeah, that was it. It was a really hectic time, uh, but yeah, made it through. With uh, regards to your second question, um, so there are certain things that you must follow in the next 10 days that is going to happen. And it's going to be the most crucial period of your life. But just make sure that you do not treat it as such. Uh, a general question that I think a lot of people have in mind is how many mocks to take. I suggest that for the next five days, do not take more than four mocks. Because uh, if you take anything more than that, then analysis would be uh, not very helpful. Because you would just be continuously giving mocks without analyzing the same. This is because you will be, this is attached to the second part of my answer that you will be, you will have to re revise everything that you have read. And I know that sounds very, very traumatizing and it sounds very problematic, but your focus should be on revising everything that you have been getting wrong. So for me, I, I did current affairs for like four hours daily. And that is because um, I know you have read it once, but reading it twice will help you remember it at the spot very, very amazingly and you will be spending let's say less than 10 minutes solving the gk section if the paper is anything like 2021's paper uh, where the options are basically just you know you just have to use your rata sense or revising everything and that would help with regards to other sections i suggest that for quant you start making a formula list now because you won't be able to go back to all the tough questions again so just make sure you make a formula list uh doing all those really basic things like if the train moves from A to B, what is going to happen? And uh, you do that. For uh, legal, English, and uh, CR, I usually club them into one category because they're all comprehension-based now. So just start focusing on the mistakes you keep making. Remind yourself that if you read not, to read not as not and nothing else, because that is very important. And other than that, I think you will be set to go. I think uh, Nithi, other than the academic part of it, wherein what is to be done, as you clearly mentioned, there are a lot of students who have problems with certain heavy reading sections. Like, for example, say if you talk about uh, reading comprehension, even legal reasoning, critical reasoning, uh, most of the students say that even if they know the questions within the given time frame, so we generally uh, you know have a time frame for a particular section, they are not mm -hmm. able to complete all the questions. For example, if you look right. at the CLAD say 2020 wala paper also, if 21 wala paper also, in every section there are certain questions that are at the starting difficult sometimes. Some of, some of them are easy, some of them are, are difficult. So what is your advice to the students to be able to maximize their potential in the sense that they have to attempt more questions in the first place? Yeah, definitely. So when you're doing the comprehension based uh, passages, if you start with let's say RC, there are going to be certain questions on vocabulary and grammar or title of the passage. I made sure to attempt those first because they, they uh, basically give me a confidence boost to solve the inference assumptions based questions that will come along. So you can start with that. That kind of usually helps you uh, move forward at a very fast pace. And uh, that is something that you can undertake. Other than just increasing attempts in comprehension based sections, I uh, suggest that you skim rather than reading every single bit. And I think you will face this problem a lot in your main exam where you will be like, OK, yeah, I have to read everything very properly but that won't really help you given that most of the passages would i don't remember after my exam was done i didn't even remember what the passages were about but that was because i skimmed through a lot of it use a pencil mark the important bits and answer as per that do not spend time learning or understanding what the concepts are or anything because remember they are not going to take the passage away from you when you start reading the questions you can always go back spend extra 15 seconds but get like all the five questions correct that's right, I guess. And uh, other than the preparation part, Nidhi, uh, as you said, I think this starting, the current affairs is more revised. The advantage is that 
एटलीस्ट जो पहले कर लिया है जितनी भी टाइम से प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो वी शुड नो दैट रैदर देन यू नो डूइंग लॉट ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स इन द लास्ट टेन डेज दैट मेक्स मोर सेंस एंड एज दी एग्जाम क्लोज इज एन आई थिंक दिस इज वेरी नेचुरल फॉर ह्यूमन बींग की अगर कोई हमारा एग्जाम बहुत ही क्लोज आ रहा है so we get lot stressed you could say a lot anxious because exam is coming kya hoga agar ek bhi mock test mein kam number aate to feel ki we are probably not going to do well in the exam again so what is your advice for students who have been facing these kinds of problems wherein you know their morale has gotten uh, really low because of these mock test scores and so on so uh, one thing that was really amazing about the last 10 days was that you don't really have to go back to your base again that used to take a lot a large chunk of my time so right now give a mock watch a movie watch cartoons watch whatever you really like and let the stress out don't worry about your scores don't worry about anything but just make sure after every mock you spend at least one hour of the time just doing something that you absolutely have fun with and that can be the same with doing current affairs because these 15 or whatever 10 days that are coming up next you will be facing a lot of uh, stress and anxiety as keshav mentioned but the only way to get rid of it is just focus on enjoying it i know that sounds very very ironic <laughs> because mm-hmm. i never enjoyed clat preparation but uh, i can suggest a few uh, <laughs> series that you can watch watch family guy watch brooklyn 99 and just enjoy your time and just make sure you do not think about the score because honestly the way clat goes you can never really know what your score is even after giving the exam even after checking your answer sheet we got what uh i think in clat 2021 our answers like 10 of our answers changed and our scores changed our ranks changed people who got nls changed so don't worry about it it will happen when it happens right now you just got to make it through and remember that once it is done you can watch as much netflix as you want so there's that added benefit yeah that's true so uh i think this is a good point again ki there is going to be a lot of uncertainty in the, in the exam again because सी मॉक टेस्ट मुझे जनरली ऐसा लगता है मॉक टेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स डू लिटिल मोर डिफिकल्ट एज कम्पेयर टू द एक्चुअल एग्जाम राइट की मतलब मॉक टेस्ट में दे आर टेस्टिंग यू इन लिटिल बेटर वे कह सकते हो या फिर थोड़ा मोर डिफिकल्ट वे सो दैट यू आर मोर देन रेडी फॉर द एग्जाम नाउ इन द लास्ट टेन डेज डू यू हैव एनीथिंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स वेर इन इफ दे आर यू कुड से कंफ्यूज इन अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल से मैथ्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल लीव इट फॉर द एंड ठीक है एक पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट है जिसमें इज नॉट एबल टू स्कोर सो इज देर अ स्ट्रेटेजी वेर इन फॉर एग्जांपल से इंग्लिश में जैसे आई टोल्ड यू कि कई लोग पूरा अटेम्प्ट नहीं कर पा रहे सो इज सेक्शनल टेस्ट अ गुड वे टू गो अबाउट सिंस यू सिंस यू सेड कि रोज मॉक करने का कोई पॉइंट नहीं है बिकॉज दैट विल ऐड अ लॉट ऑफ यू गुड से प्रेशर एंड अ लॉट ऑफ इट मेक्स योर एंटायर डे टू हैक्टिक बिकॉज यू हैव टू एनालाइज द मॉक टेस्ट एज वेल सो शुड दे गो फॉर सेक्शनल टेस्ट इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज डिड यू डू द सेम या सो फॉर सेक्शनल टेस्ट आई यू to refer to very different sources so the main point of doing this sectional test was understanding uh, what is my lacuna in those particular sections so for example in cr you might face uh, an issue in assumptions so understanding that yeah assumptions is my weak point you can go back to your basics and revise the entire basics for assumptions again and that kind of gets you little further ahead in how to solve cr so for quant as well when you let's say solve a particular di and they give you a question on ratio and percentage and you find out that yeah i have not been able to solve this but i can solve everything else then you can go back to your basics and uh, solve it again so i believe that give sectional test definitely but uh, broaden your horizon and just go through many different sources right now so that you can find out what your lacunas are that's right so anidhi uh, like i will uh, like to discuss about your experience also in the last 10 days i'm pretty sure that every aspirant has a subject that they're not too comfortable with some of us uh, some of us have favorite subjects also so did you have a subject that you felt ki bhai ye padhna padega matlab i don't like this but i'll have to go with it yeah it was definitely quant for me i okay. absolutely abhorred quant and um, so i used to study with sukam he is air pipe and we used to sit down every night for like 2 to 3 hours and we would solve every uh, particular topic of quant together where we would find out what our uh, weaknesses were and we would go back to those so it became sort of a competition where where he would give a question and we would be like okay yeah who solves it first because we would use all the tips and everything that everybody provides and it would be like okay yeah you did it in 10 seconds i did it in 15 so that was kind of a fun game for us that's that's right so uh what well, that's good in the last 10 days i'm pretty sure that you were doing and uh, along with your 
फ्रेंड यू वर डूइंग रियली वेल इन दी मॉक टेस्ट ऑल्सो मतलब यू वर क्वाइट कॉन्फिडेंट की मतलब कुछ ना कुछ तो हो जाएगा बट आई थिंक वेन यू आर एट दैट स्टेज बहुत सारे लोगों की आपसे उम्मीद होती है कि इवन दी पेरेंट्स और इवन योर मेंटर्स खुद से भी ऐसा लगता है कि अब क्योंकि इस लेवल पर आ गए वी शुड नॉट डू बैड इन दी एग्जाम एंड क्लैड ट्वेंटी वन वॉज काइंड ऑफ ए पेपर अगर आप करंट अफेयर से स्टार्ट करो या कुछ स्टार्ट करो तो क्वेश्चन रियली अनप्रडिक्टेबल एंड कुड से रियली इन रेलिवेंट ऑल्सो एट टाइम सो वॉट वॉज योर फीलिंग इन दी लास्ट टेन डेज एंड हाउ डिड यू मैनेज दी स्ट्रेस एंड एंग्जाइटी दैट यू योर सेल्फ थोड़ा सा जिनको लगा कि how do you uh, get out of it i understand i mean you said ki we can watch cartoons movies and so on so what else did you do so i was not scoring very well during the end time okay. of my preparation by the way i was scoring pretty normal my percentile would be let's say in 90s but it never went like i would get a rank of 5 or 2 in the mock test so that was not kind uh, an expectation problem that i faced and one thing i refrained from doing even though i had nls ka picture in my uh, stuck on my wall and i was like worshiping nls at that time but i refrained from expecting anything from the exam because i always knew that it might just end up really really bad so every time my mind would go to yeah what happens next i would just stop it right there and say no you cannot think of it because if i did that then my entire paper would have been uh, really really bad so what i focused on was just distractions and that distraction was through studying and watching some kind of uh, things that i liked so short term goals rather than long term goals were uh, let's say a solution for my problem right uh, so one year in nls do you worship nls even now i will refrain from answering that question <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i will ask you one more question and that's it so uh, there is uh, there are obviously a lot of students most of them doing mock test on a regular basis but i think the exam day pressure is very different ठीक है एग्जाम डे प्रेशर मतलब देयर आर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स द एग्जाम टेंस इज जनरली सो हॉट आल्सो इन देयर द जनरली कॉल यू दो घंटे पहले यू हैव टू गो स्टैंड देयर एंड यू कांट डू मच एनीवे मतलब लास्ट डे तो दिस इज नॉट योर बोर्ड का एग्जाम की लास्ट मिनट तक पढ़ रहे हैं यू हैव सो मच टू कवर सो हाउ डिड यू डील विद दैट प्रेशर एंड हाउ डू यू फील देयर इज व्हाट आई वांट टू नो फर्स्ट एंड हाउ डू यू डील विद दैट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रेशर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू नॉट वेयर जींस टू द टेस्ट सेंटर वेयर शॉर्ट्स और वेयर पजामास because i don't understand why people wear jeans it is so humid and it is so absolutely abhorrent just just wear some kind of really comfortable clothing that is one thing that i want everybody to know second uh you will be very anxious you might puke it all out because i was just almost there puking my guts out because i was very scared of uh, what i'm going to do but just do a short term distraction method so when you're starting the paper let's say when you're reading the passage focus on everything and anything in the passage rather than anything around you so i used to do this method where i would start picturing the entire passage in my head so everything around me would just blur out so this was one way that i would handle my anxiety because if i saw people around me marking any kind of answers i would have been like oh yeah why haven't i marked that yet so just this is something you can start doing while you are giving mocks as well given that you have 10 days just sit down and whenever you are uh, focusing on the paper just make sure to blur everything out and it comes with a lot of practice where you just focus on the one thing in front of you nothing else and how did i deal with it so i just i just acted like i was super confident i acted like i have got everything under control and i had nothing under control and just you know fake it till you make it situation that was yeah. my situation i think yeah. exam maybe when you are there for two hours it's not just about showing your intelligence jaise agar aapko english bahut acha aata hai So, इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि आप इंग्लिश में सारे ही क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करोगे दैट कुड बी द डिफिकल्ट सेक्शन आल्सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट सॉल्विंग एज मेनी क्वेश्चन एज पॉसिबल इन दोस हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी बिकॉज सबका वेट इज इन द एंड इक्वली है सो आई थिंक वी एज आई टोल्ड यू वी गोट कीप इट रियली शॉर्ट एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग यू टाइम इट्स गोट बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स इन नेक्स्ट टेन डेज सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू आस्क सम क्वेश्चन इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स इन फील फ्री टू डू दैट इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट एनी फर्दर थिंग दैट निधि गिव यू वॉन्ट निधि टू एड्रेस and thank you so much for giving your time and i congratulate once again for your outstanding performance uh, in clad 21 and thank you so much for uh, sparing time for 12 minutes to clad again thank you nidhi oh very well.